welcome to this year's art portion of the VBS. We're going to be making a bunch of Olympic themed crafts today. Don't worry, you're not going to make these. We just have these on for fun for the Olympics. But um, the first craft we're going to do today is a laurel crown. So Jeannie, can you try this one on? Oh, so everybody. Right. So this is the laurel crown and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of the laurel crown so that you understand why we're making it. A long time ago, in ancient Greece, they used to reward the winners of athletic events with wreaths made of laurel. The laurel tree was sacred to the Roman god Apollo. In honor of Apollo, the ancient Greeks used to host athletic games. Over time, these games became known as the Olympics. In this year's Olympics, the laurel wreath is now used as a decorative symbol, so be on the lookout for it so you can explain this history to your friends and family. Today we're going to make our own crowns, and when you wear your crown, I want you to remember to celebrate yourself as being a champion in Jesus' eyes. And remember, our verse for the week is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, which is from the Bible in the book of Philippians 4.13. So parents, um, I think Miss Christina has sent the list um, for each day of the items that you'll need for, for the craft. And anytime something's not sticking or if you're... Um, stapler will fit. You can always go reinforce everything with like a glue gun or maybe like some stronger glue. Um, but let's get started. So today you need um, just some different shades of green. I've already obviously cut this out, but we just have, have all different, different colors. Yeah, it can be just any shade of green. Um, and then I also had emailed a template for the little leaves. You don't have to use the template if you don't want to. But if you maybe just need some help on how to draw your leaves, um, this is a good way to just cut these out and you can trace them. So um, Jeannie, I'll have you um, maybe start tracing some of these shapes. And so you wanna do, about how many leaves do we have on that one, Jeannie? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. So we did about 17 leaves on this one. And do you see how they're all different colors and sizes and shapes? It doesn't have to be 17, but you just want to see, like, the, it, you don't want to see this part. You want to, like, cover it. Right. So do you want to go ahead and start tracing that leaf on the construction paper? And you can just use that as a sample. It doesn't have to be just like that. And while she's doing, she's tracing leaves, yeah, just, you can trace on that paper in all different colors. I'm going to show parents how to make the little band that goes around the head. Um, you can make it as big or as skinny as you want to, depending on the size. So I'm just going to cut a couple strips of my darkest green. How many of these do you want me to cut? Um, a bunch. Probably about 15 okay. or 16. So you're going to staple these two strips together or tape, whatever's easiest. And then, um, do you, can you cut that off for me? The top one? Yeah, and then it'll be your hair. Oh, okay. And so then you can just kind of put it around their head to see about how far you need to snap it. Um, but before you close it, just let keep it flat so they can start gluing all their leaves on. So you're gonna, Jeannie, can you hold up your, um, what you've traced so far? Uh -huh. yeah. So she's just tracing a bunch of different green. It's, um, it's just a little, it's like, it's the shape of an egg almost, but it's a little um, taller. You just cut it out of a paper of any kind and then you trace it on uh, a paper and then you cut that out and then you can make your own. And then we just used um, some of this glue, it's just Elmer's craft glue, to glue all the leaves around the headband. And then once you get it all glued, you just staple the headband together, and you have your laurel crown. So Jeannie, you want to try it on one more time? Wait, I need this <laughs> So we hope you enjoy this craft, and we hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye!